yeah. intervention to many in the informal sector as well as rural folks who shied away from the mainstream banking sector. It facilitated transfer of money from one part of the country to other without having to travel, thereby cutting traffic. Oh, I'm talking about mobile money transfer. Call it anyhow you will, mobile money. Vodafone or Tigo Cash or Airtel money. But today, mobile money vendors are the target of armed robbers and cyber fraudsters. Last night, armed men stormed a mobile money vending shop in Wali Wali, opened fire and killed one person. Two others were injured. Police there are on the hunt for those killers. Now, the Wali Wali attack is not the first, with most mobile money vendors predisposed to robbery attacks. We have had two of such stories for you this afternoon. First is the account of a man in Kaswa. We brought you that story some two weeks ago. And then we'll follow it up with an interview with a mobile money vendor here at Koko Mimli. Florin Sakwa. Okay. Kaswa Koli, this is a Kaswa Koli. And we came here on Sunday to work. That was around nine, eight to nine. We were about to close and one of our madam's daughter went out. So you went to see a friend and tell her that like we are closing. Not saying that the people around were just watching us, monitoring us to see what is going to happen over here. So all of a sudden that like, she was about to enter the room. The people came, followed her and entered, told us to lie down. So all what of, what of a sudden, what we saw was like, they were inside, two people entered with guns and they asked us to lie down. So we also lied down, asked what they said and they took whatever they wanted to take. They took the credit that we were selling, the money, phones, personal phones and other things, laptop, a lot. Even remote, they even took a remote. They even took Bola that we've even packed. For the credit, it's almost, let me say, 25,000 credits that we went for it on. 1,000, yeah, Ghana cities. So for the credit, how much? It was 25,000 Ghana cities that we went for it on Saturday so that we can sell it Sunday and Monday. So Sunday, we couldn't even sell more than what we want to sell. So the next day, that, that the Monday that we are coming to sell it, and they came to store it on Sunday evening, around 8 to 9. Yeah. How do you feel living in an area like this? Are you scared? Are you afraid? Do you get afraid? Do you have to close early now because of what happened? Yeah. yeah, because of what is happening, we need to close early. And one thing that what happened was like, there was noise around, and some people were just playing music that is very loud that we cannot even, when someone shouts, that you cannot even hear from. People were shouting, but because of the music, we couldn't hear anything. Are you afraid, living in this community, are you afraid? Oh yeah, we are afraid. Or well, we can hear from other uh, towns that they've killed people, they've shot, people cannot even walk again. People have lost people's life and as it, we are even afraid to stay here. Well, my name One night after closing from work, I, as I stepped out, uh, I was having my bag and they attacked me. Two motorbikes, three motorbikes with two people seated on it. Yeah, each, each, each. So when they attacked me, they took my bag and uh, they speed off with the money. Yeah. Were they armed? They were holding cutlass, yeah. big, big matches, big matches. About how much were you holding that day? <laughs> it was a large money, yeah, almost about 30,000. Yeah. That was the last incident. I've, I've been attacked about some years back, two, three years, four years. Yes. I think that was the fourth time that was I was robbed. Four different times. So were they all in similar ways? Yes, they are, they are the motorbikes. They come with motorbikes. Yeah. This is very similar to what happened in the northern part of Ghana just yesterday. Um, tell us, since last year, have you beefed up your security in any way? Oh, yes, I've beefed up the security, yeah. Yes. Uh, do you think it's working? Oh, yeah, it's working. It's working, yeah. It's really working, yeah. But only that, I would suggest maybe the police can also come in to help us because we are doing some of the work of the banks, although we are not doing all, but we are doing some. They can also come in to support us. We will be very grateful. Yeah, because you see, we are on the target, and they know we always have money. And unlike the banking close at around five, we we sometimes go ahead of five, sometimes six, seven. Some people also goes to. Although it's not good for us to be doing at night, but 
because, because of, of business. Business. You see, sometimes workers come to do business after they close. Maybe somebody he has to send money to somebody, but because of his work schedule, he, he suggests to do it after five. So sometimes we stay for those people. So the banks can, the, the police can also come in to support it. If they can be patrolling around that time, because the motorbikes that are, they are using to do the robbery, yes. So if they can come in and help us. Uh, apart from the police, do you think any of the telcos you work with also have a role to play here? Uh, with the telcos, yes, I always have problem with the telcos. You see, uh, concerning this work, it's not only really about a robbery. There are so many uh, theft incidents happening in the business. There are so many theft incidents. You know, people scam people through this um, mobile money stuff. Yes, and uh, even some of the customers that comes here. And when they come here, because they know they can get numbers from here, they take numbers from here and they call those people, they mistakenly send money to them, but they should resend, you know. So the telecos can also come in and also help because they, they are handling the transactions, the, you know, the, 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 the movement of the money from one end to the end. They are handling that. So they can also help with that. You see, so that when there is an incident like this, uh, people have been scammed. They can track the number, get hold of because it's, it's, it's on the ramp. It's, it's, it's going high too much. Every blessed day, they are scamming people on the on the platform. Yeah. Yes, yes. So they, the telephones can do some. Yes.